Hey everybody, Scott Tetweiler here. A lot of big things have happened this morning and yesterday, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, the mid journey has gone from version three to version three beta. It's optional. And I'll show you how to get into that and some things to watch out for, uh, because there's some things you have to turn off. Otherwise you're going to get a non-responsive bot. Uh, the other big one is that Stable Diffusion has gone public. So now you can use Stable Diffusion locally. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of Colab notebooks, I'm sure, start up for that pretty soon. And uh, there's a few other uh, instances where people have launched it and have some really nice stuff going on there. Uh, there are a couple guides on installing it locally. I'll try to get links to those. I'll probably do a separate video on that because that is a tall order anyway. Uh, but uh, that is good news. Now, the uh, Dream Studio beta for that project is still... Uh, going to blur any images of things that says nudity in it. Uh, I was told that's going to get resolved at some point and have a little switch so you can turn that on or off. Because uh, as a body painter, I don't care about the nudity, but in some cases I maybe want to show midriffs or things like that. And it gets uh, trippy where it just blurs the whole image. Now, as far as mid journey, uh, version three beta, uh, in order to turn that on, you just simply have to put dash dash beta at the end of your statements. However, there's a couple things to watch out for. The big issues with the bot right now is that it's going to ignore a lot of things because image weights appear to be turned off. This means that the bot is taking everything a lot more literally than it normally does. Uh, they have also disabled any of the stylized parameters. So if you're using a dash dash S or a style, um, you need to turn that off or the bot will be non-responsive. You can check your suffixes by going in and looking at settings. And in here I have the beta set, which means that my bot will now put dash dash beta at the end of the statements. But make sure that you have the style set to medium, which is normal, base quality, which is fine. Again, if you use a quality modifier, it's going to cause the bot to not answer you. And, and I left everything else pretty much the way that it is. Now I am obviously paying for private mode, so you're going to see that switch, which you may or may not have. You're going to notice that's a lot better with faces and hands. Um, this is like, again the intention of the beta. I haven't really had the same experience with hands that I have, but faces have been much better. Um, obviously, I'm being very specific here and asking for a specific person's face, um, which has given me a nice result. And if you're using any other aspect ratio other than one to one or two to three, it also will not work. The two to three aspect ratio or the three to two aspect ratio, depending on if you want it wider or taller, um, is as much of uh, a, an aspect ratio as you're going to be able to get as far as tall or width right now. Um, if you ask for anything else, it's not going to work. Also, you're only going to get one if you do it that way. If you use a square, you're going to get two options instead of the normal four. Uh, so just be aware if you get fewer options, understand why. So originally I couldn't get this to work and it's because my suffix contained a quality and it also contains a stylize. Uh, you need to make sure both of those are disabled in order for this to work in beta. But the beta is supposed to have much better faces and much better hands. The faces I agree with 100% are turning out a lot better than they were um, in version three alone. Uh, hands, I haven't had that same love yet, uh, but again, a lot of the scenes I'm looking for tend to be a little twisted right now with the theme I'm going for, so who knows for sure if it's actually me or if it's the system. I think it's probably the system. And right now, uh, Mid Journey is offering a big reward to people who go over to the engine and start to train it. Um, so if you want to rate the images that are up on the shuffle, um, you can go ahead and do so. And again, they're going to give a bunch of credits to the top 1,000 people who can rate as many images as possible. So get on over there, spend a couple hours today, you know, training the bot uh, so that it can make pictures better in the future. Uh, so that's what I got for this morning. It's big things. Uh, we're going to have a live stream this morning as well. Uh, I have a project I want to work on, so we'll work on that today. Everybody, thanks for hanging around. I'll talk to you soon.